Hi everybody, it's me Laminka, and I'm here with Mark and Chuck doing the, um, I guess we'll call this the men's corner, that's what Chuck called it the last time. Yeah. And uh, we have some <laughs> questions from the viewers. I am doing a giveaway. Let me show you one of the, one of the uh, items I'm giving away. The other one is going to be a gift card, probably to Starbucks, but... I have this stamp set in here, a little notepad in here, another stamp in here with the Copic refill, so I hope that you like Copics. Copics. And then I have two other Copic refills, uh, you know, brand new, and you'll get that inside this bag. Oh, and I have some enamel dots in here too, that's in here. So. That's the that's for prize number one, and another prize again will be a um, gift card to probably in Starbucks. Who can All right, you? let's get the show on the road. We take it too long. See, that's how you get killed. <laughs> so you can even get the question asked. Okay. Am I scared? <laughs> nope. <laughs> <laughs> be quiet. All right, so the first one comes from, and these are in no particular order. I'm just reading them as I go. BBW Sweet and Sexy. BBW. She said, I really enjoyed this video here. And the question I would like to ask both of the men. I'm trying to try to read this. If you were with a lady and she told you she preferred to use toys on her partner than, than yourself, would you stay and allow her to please you other ways. Wait, 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 wait. What? She wants you to use toys on her, right? Other than yourself. Well, I, I understand that. I don't know why it hurts. Um, you just please, please her the way she wants and move on with her, or will you move on without her? So she wants you, toys used on her. Yeah, I guess that's, that's what she said. And... Uh, yeah, but uh, does she want any involvement? Yeah, or it sounds does like she, she just wants want a toy. Uh, us to just sit there and watch, or yeah, I don't get it. So I guess we're using toys on her. I guess so. I guess if she would prefer, if the woman wants you to use toys on her uh -huh. rather than yourself, would you stay with her and allow her to please you, or would you just move on? I, I don't. I can't understand this question. I'm sorry. Maybe sweet. <laughs> yeah, it's I'm trying to read it, but I don't understand it. Right, it's like she's asking two different things. Yeah, I, I think honestly, toys are cool to use on one, but at some point, you're gonna want to insert yourself into the woman at some point. So if, the, if that's some kind of blockade or something, and you can't get in it, and you don't <laughs> like that, then that's a I consider that a big problem because toys in my hand ain't gonna do too much for me. What'd you say, Chuck? <laughs> I mean, I'm open, so I think that um, if she wants toys in the mix, toys, I mean, whatever spices it up. Okay, okay. I'm, but I'm I'm always going to be the man, so. Gotcha. Man, Our next. He ain't running up in me. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm thinking, too. <laughs> All right, next question is from Jane. She said, oh, she has another question, too. This is for both of the men. Where are you ticklish? Go, Mark. On my sides. Chuck, where are you ticklish? Everywhere. I'm a teddy bear. <laughs> All right, then. Oh, let me. You know what? While I'm doing these questions, where's my phone? Because some of them, um, it say read more. So I need to uh, go to my YouTube while I'm on the phone with you guys. Here's the next question. This is from Diane. Well, Diva Lens. D Valens 145. She said, How would you incorporate crafty supplies in the bedroom? Uh this is for both of you. So I'm gonna let Chuck take this one. How would you incorporate crafty supplies in the bedroom? And this is what she said. Think of all the things a crafter has: feathers, glitters, gems, spray, etc. So you really think about it, you may not think all the supplies are just taking up space or a waste of money. So I'm gonna let you uh, answer that one, Chuck. I guess the, uh, the 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 common denominator is the glue. You can't be a crafter without glue. 
Glue makes everything stick better. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Chuck them cut up. I'm just oh saying. my God. Chuck them cut up. I'm, I'm just thinking, you know, you, you know, all I don't know what crafters do, but I'm going to assume that I know glue is a you gotta use glue at some point. You gotta use glue at some point. Oh, I, I figured out something. Um, okay, so that ribbon and twine can be used for restraints. So uh, that that sounds like a great idea to me. Oh. Bondage. Yes, that, that is some fun stuff. Bondage. Okay. Shades are great. All right, <laughs> then. Okay, Jane has another question. Okay, how long do we My official question is for Mark. What is the one little thing that Lamika does that get on your nerves? But well, we've already answered this question. I told her that, but you're going to go ahead and answer it. I think we did a previous one like yeah. that. Um, Lamika guards me very hard, which is very sweet and kind of her. But I like to let things play out now. So she'll come high at a person that's like either bothered me or messed with me. And I kind of like, sweetie, just relax. We're going to let it play out. It's all going to tell the truth in the end. Yeah, I know. But I do appreciate her protection. Yeah, I'm a man. Yeah. I can protect my damn self. <laughs> but thank you. <laughs> you silly. Next question. Ladies, y'all know. Don't, don't, come, don't come incorrect. Okay. Crafty Moo wants this. This question for Mark. Mm -hmm. If you were a craft product, what would you be and why? A craft product? Mm-hmm. Um, hmm. That's a hard question. A craft product. This one will have to go to the I think real hard about that. Yeah, hurry up with that because we're gonna. Um, I got this one. This is three questions. And I think next I'd one. be a stamp of lips because I want to stamp it all over Lamika's body. Oh, baby, you're so sweet. Damn, that was close. <laughs> <laughs> that was brutal. <laughs> that was brutal. <laughs> <laughs> all right, our next question is three questions from Sensuous One. Hello. She asked. Okay. So my questions are for Chuck. <laughs> Number one, would you be willing to spend the day fishing or are you not an outdoors kind of man? I grew up on Jersey Shore, so saltwater fishing is the best. And yes, I can bait my own line, catch them, and clean them. You know what? I don't know if I have time to do this. Can I exit the building for about two Minutes. Carry up, Chuck. <laughs> we are shooting the video. Carry up. Now, Central is why did you ask the question that is going to require Chuck to leave the room <laughs> and go get something? Who knows what he's going to go get? But we will wait. And in the meantime, me and my baby will sit here. All I gotta say is. What you been doing all day? You better get some work done. Some I've been stamps. doing stuff. I've been I working. Stamps. I had stamps so People today. can't even see it. Stamps over there. They ain't gone. It's That's just the sofa Sunday. I guess we don't have that many um, church goers. Church goers. <laughs> I thought Everybody's a have. sinner like me. <laughs> Are you crazy? I don't know. Church, my son, my sofa Sunday set is just moving rather slower than I thought it would right. be, but it's, it's all good I just figure when more people see that I have a nice stamp set out there, they'll come over here and get it because And don't forget there's I a new stamp set really coming. Beautiful. She has a new stamp set coming. That's coming very soon. No, I talked to the manufacturer today and she said they'll probably mail it um uh, it'll be shipped on the fifteenth. But I was like, What? I don't wanna wait till the fifteenth. I'm thinking that maybe I They're can get it now. this well CHA is on Thursday and uh, they will be at CHA. Matter of fact I'm gonna meet them uh, oh, the while I'm there. My manufacturer. Oh wow, yeah. that's awesome. I'm gonna meet them. So I'm thinking that's, that's so the cool. reason why yeah, it's going they, to be a delay in it yeah. because of CHA. But be ready because you got more They'll probably be out. ready to ship them then on the 15th, and hopefully I'll get them by the 19th, and then as soon as I get them, I'm shipping everything out. So, people, you will have your stamping time to make uh, plenty of sexy cards, honey. Oh! What kind of fishing you want? Oh, Lord! <laughs> we can go deep. I'm ready for anything. Oh, my God! Look at all of those! Oh, oh my God! Well, we can go shallow. <laughs> Which one you prefer? <laughs> Next question. Okay, like my bad. <laughs> I like to go deep. Oh, uh, remember, keep get your kids away from the computer. Yeah, they should not this. be watching this video. And I tie my own lures and I make my own lures. Wow, that's cool. Okay, then. 
for, for quality fish. Uh, whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> number number two. Chuck, she asks, I'm preparing your favorite meal. What would that be? Whatever you make. I'll just be happy that you're making some. So I guess it's special. So I don't have a favorite dish. All righty then. You heard that, ladies. And number three. It says, sticking to the truth serum, besides confidence, what is a turn on to you in your woman? Is that a question for me? Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Oh. Same uh, person. What's the turn on for me? Mm -hmm. Cleanliness. It's next to godliness. So you definitely got to be clean. I think I said this in a in one of these videos before. Yeah, we did. Yeah. I can't stand bad smells. I like good smells. Yes. And uh, also, you know, just be sexy. It doesn't matter. Just, just try to figure out how to be sexy. You know what I mean? Cool. All righty then. That was three questions in one. Ladies or whoever's watching the video, you were allowed to ask as many questions as possible. The next person is Amb7412, and she said, Mark and Chuck, if money was no object and you were planning a special night out for your lovely wife or lady, what would you plan for her? Mark, go. And she said, this has to be realistic, but uh, pull out all the stops to impress. Okay. Well, since um, Mika's talked about limousines, I would get a limousine to pick us up from the house. We would go to a destination of her choice, probably the National Harbor, one of those restaurants. Uh, dine there. Then uh, rent, get a room down National Harbor and spend the night and get the limo to bring us on back. But it'll be all planned out, um, and I think that would be a wonderful date for the two of us. All right then, and Mark saying, I mean, uh, I'm sorry, Chuck, same thing with you. If you were planning a special night out for your lovely wife or lady, what would you plan for her? And money is no option. And money is no option. You have to pull out all the stops. Well, I called one of my buddies who owns a jet, and we would fly to the uh, to the Mediterranean and oh. uh, <laughs> take no. a cruise on the Mediterranean. Oh, Eat you. some good food and drink some good wine. Just enjoy each other's company. Oh, sounds romantic. Sounds romantic. Because you said money was no option. Yeah, money was no option. That's right. And I've already been all over Maryland, so I don't think... You know, I would want to stick around. I would want to go just go somewhere. Yeah, yeah. Get up gotcha. and go. Get up and go. Disney Fanatic, I think that's how you say it. She said, do the men ever give ideas on... Do the men ever give ideas on projects? Uh, probably. Um, I got a golf tee set that um, Mika made for me when I used to go golfing. And so I like that. It was a. Uh, it was made out of crafty stuff. So that was kind of fun. Yeah. I don't think Chuck ever given any ideas. Yeah, Chuck's never given any ideas. No. I just offered to help expand the business. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes! Uh, for Mark, can he name five companies that you buy products from? Michael's, Joann's, uh, Big Lots, maybe? Um, yeah, I go to Big Lots sometimes. Um... Sheesh, what's that chick's name? Um, uh, what she look like, baby? That, that, that white chick. <laughs> <laughs> you say like that. <laughs> that, that, that white chick. What's her what name? she look like, baby? She has the machine right there. Where's the machine? Oh, at? you talking about that chick right over there on that magazine? Yeah, Teresa Collins. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> sorry, <laughs> Teresa. Stupid. <laughs> And uh, some dude or some some dude that always buy you buy crap from. I can't remember his name at this point, but it had to do with the the, the six thousand I cracked up on the last time. E Are you 6, talking 000. about um some dude. Tim Holtz? There you go. I don't buy Tim Holtz stuff, baby. Uh, yeah. Hey. yeah, you know, I don't do this. I'm stuff. watching football, so sadly I don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> you stupid. Okay, um, let me see. 
CC from Florida Scraps. I'm thinking of this. Chuck is sexy. Why is he single again? My question is for both men. What is your biggest turn on in the bedroom and out of the bedroom? This is from Christina. Who wants to take this? Chuck, go first. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, uh, Christina, for the compliment. Um, why am I single again? Uh, I went through a divorce, you know, got children, you know, just moving on with my life. Things are good and uh, haven't quite uh, settled down yet. Um, dating, yeah, that's an option, you know. But right now, I'm just focusing on things that are important, like finance, uh, staying healthy, taking care of my children. If I meet that special someone, then, you know, it'll happen. I'm open to it. And she wants to know, what is your biggest turn on in the bedroom and out of the bedroom? Ooh, this guy a little spicy. turn on in the bedroom and out. Let me see if I can remember. It's been so long. Oh, oh. But, uh, <laughs> um, biggest turn on in the bedroom... Probably, <laughs> I don't think y'all should know that. <laughs> that's good. Say, say that, that might be a little bit too much for the child. Whoa. I'm Scorpio, but. <laughs> well, what about out of the bedroom? I tell you all that. That's, that, would be, that would be just crazy. <laughs> anyway. What about out of the bedroom? Out of the bedroom, my biggest turn on is... Um, I guess my lady just doing something spontaneous that I wouldn't have expected, and uh, that would be my biggest turn on. Cool. What about you, babe? My biggest turn on is being serviced. All right. I do appreciate the kindness. <laughs> you need you Going know. outside the bedroom is Mika being louder than me at a Redskins game. That was a big turn on. Oh that my God, can I believe he said that? When someone oh. yells louder than me at a Redskins game, and she don't know nothing about the Redskins. You get a green light. Yeah, you know, I'm, I care less when I go, you know. I just go because I want to go, but you would never know that I am not a Redskins fan. Anne wants to know, I want to know if Chuck had a woman for a while and she brought home a woman to share between the two of them. Woo, Anne is really going in on this question. Will he be into watching his woman partake in the wonders of another woman? And will he be interested in joining in? She's talking about holding the camera or walking away. Oh my God, Anne went in on that question. Wow, that was a pretty deep one right there. Who was that from? Anne. Anne. And I probably would just finish my drink and probably join in. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. But I will drink that slow. Yes, yes, yes. Babe, I'm glad Ann didn't ask you that question. Yeah, I'm not answering nothing like that. <laughs> Thank you, Ann, for not asking Mark that question. It shouldn't ask Scorpios that time. <laughs> no one can ask you that. <laughs> oh, this this is from Emma. Tony wants to know who will Mark be rooting for in the playoffs? Uh, not Dallas. Yeah. Anybody <laughs> but Dallas, and they cheated the in the so game. Bad. That was the worst. Picking up a flag. Come on. Not just Ooh. that. Not calling a uh, personal foul on, uh, yeah, that's on what's the boy's name? Terrible. What's the receiver's name? Uh, uh, Des Bryant. Des Bryant, man. Walking on the field and all the way in the middle of the field. be fair. You know, just be fair. This is not a football channel, no, guys. No. I'm sorry to tell you that. Boy, that was the worst officiated game <laughs> in, in history. history of football. <laughs> yes. He worse. <laughs> Mika Matthews want to know, does Mark know how to operate a cricket machine? The cricket, the, the first one you had, yes. That was the cricket express. The cricket express, yes, but not the new puzzle. No, that's not the puzzle. That. Not the, the silhouette mm -hmm. and not the other cricket thing. No. Nah. Yeah. I'm Chuck, a man. I stay out of that crap. You silly. <laughs> and Mika wants to know, Chuck, what is an e -balser? I'm sorry? What is an e -balser? That's the name of it. e -balser. What Do you know what that is? Is that something relating to craft? Yes. Now, Mika's mispronouncing it. Just it's honest. not that. It's called an e -balser. What that is it supposed to be? I've heard of it. What? Let me see the daggone spelling. E B O S S E R. E Bosser. It's embosser, baby. No, I, it's I E Bosser. That's I've, what she said. I've been embossing my whole life. 
with that notary stuff. It's embosser. I know about an embosser, and I know about okay. embossing, I, but this is called an embosser. I have I no idea. Is that related to something outside <laughs> of crafting? No, it's not. If it's crafting, I don't know much about crafting. Man. Sorry. All right. Well, that's what she asked. But I'm learning, though. Anika has a question for both of you. Mark, I'll let you go first. How's, how important is communication between you and your respective partner or your spouse? Um, communication is definitely key. Uh, Mika and I have this, like, F you type of thing that we do. <laughs> and uh, I used to not know how far I could go. <laughs> yeah, I, I, we I, know. I, and I'd be a little confused. I'd be like, okay, does she really mean it this time or was she just playing? <laughs> But I think after knowing her long enough, I realize when the limit is there. Chuck, what about you? How important is communication between you and your respective partner? Um, communication uh, is uh, is the key to a lasting relationship. And also, it says to each individual that there's a, a level of respect there that you have for one, one another. If there's no communication, then... There's probably a lack of respect for each one's opinion. So, and with that, a follow-up question to that same question is, what order would you put communication? Should it be sex and then communication? Or communication and then sex? Mark, you want to <laughs> I can't be up. I can't be making up about that. <laughs> Truth is, sex is communication. <laughs> You can do both at the same time if you got talent. Yeah, Mika can do all kinds of stuff, but we're gonna we're gonna leave that out. <laughs> so yes, you can do both at the same time. For men, I have to be honest, sex is a very key part of life. And that's just the way it is. What about you, Chuck? How you feel? <laughs> I love putting them on the spot, ladies. Oh. I didn't even tell them about these questions. They just answering them on the spot. I mean, you know, what was the question again? Uh, what order would you put communication, sex and then communication? Or is communication and then sex? I mean, I, it just depends on the date, you know. Um, sometimes, you know, the communication is like nonverbal, and then you just get right into it. Mm. Because, mm. you know, you might have been feeling a certain way about your mate that day. And you just couldn't wait home to get to see him. And then uh, because you're all vibing, by the time the door is open and she's already ready. So obviously, you know, two minds think alike, you know. And then right. there's times when you just got to communicate it, you know, and uh, talk about some things. Cool. You know. And the last yeah. question we have here is from Anika. This is for Chuck. I kind of think we kind of already answered this, but I will ask it again. What's your idea of a romantic getaway with a future partner? Mm. Romantic getaway. So the other question was if there was uh, money limited, I mean unlimited money, this was what's your idea of a romantic getaway with a future partner? I, I guess, again, I, I think I answered it earlier in a, in a previous question, but, mm -hmm. um, but there's no limit on uh, funds. Uh, I believe just jumping on a plane and going somewhere you know, spontaneous, you know, or if you got a plan, again, going somewhere, you know, where it's just the two of you all enjoying each other's company, the atmosphere, the weather, you know, so if you're going up into the mountains, if it's cold, you know, you're going to be in closed quarters, nice fireplace, nice Oh, nice yeah, that's something I want to do. Wine, you know. Yes, do something like that. Bare skin rug, or, I mean, you, if you're going to be Alone, I mean, you know, commando is always a good, good way to go. <laughs> you said commando is always a good way to go. Hey, everybody, sorry, um, kind of messed up on the video. <laughs> so we do have a winner. We have two winners. So the first winner is going to be this is Chuck's winner. It is sensuous one. She asked about the what was it? Uh, the fishing. Mm -hmm. Would you be willing to spend a day fishing, or are you a, not an outdoors man kind of man? Chuck really loved that question. So you are the winner of this right here pouch that has the Copic stuff. 
And this is the perfect gift for you because I know you do like Copic. So um, some refills are in here. They say the way to a man's heart is through his stomach. Mine's is fishing. I love fishing. All righty then. Did you hear that? I love it. I go fishing all the time. Mm. And then our second <clears throat> winner <clears throat> is from Dive the Lens 145. D-I-V-A-L-E-N-Z 145. You are getting a um, gift card, honey. I'm going to send it. I'm going to send Starbucks. I hope you like Starbucks, girlfriend. I'll send that to you by email. So I will contact you on Instagram and get that over to you. So anyway, thanks everybody for uh, watching us and commenting. And who knows when I'll get these two back on the video again because, you know... I don't know. They they like to watch football a lot. Hey, it's the playoffs. We got more time for you now. Make another video soon. <laughs> you stupid. <laughs> we'll see what we got to talk about the next time. I always like to have everybody, other people in the room when it's, you know, mm -hmm. we get really crunk. Or next time, maybe we should have drinks. If we have drinks, we'll really get crunk on the video. Oh, we'll see. I think we got to keep ooh, our ooh. jobs. <laughs> oh, yeah. I forgot about that. Yeah. We got some you important people in here. Because this is your job. Yes, bye, bye. All right. Talk to you guys later. Bye. bye.